guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing well. Today I have a hen do and it is I think about quarter past eight in the morning and I need to get ready. So I thought I would do another get ready with me because why not? I don't think my neighbours would appreciate me blasting music at eight o'clock in the morning anyway. So it's bank holiday weekend and it's bank holiday Saturday for the Jubilee um, and we are going to Cardiff today for the Hindu so I need to get ready. So I'm going to pink on my hair using the um, Beauty Wicks X Molly May Kayla Lush um, I've spoken about this already so I'll link my other get ready with me where I review it and talk all about it um, down below for you which is my birthday get ready with me if you haven't already seen it so yeah the first thing I need to do is pink on my hair I've got my caramel coffee ready so let's go so I have um, put um, heat defense spray on and some hairspray so I'm going to answer a few questions as well and this is just wrapped around my phone charger brilliant so the first question I got asked um, on Instagram, which I'll link down below if you want to um, get involved with future videos. Um, what is your favourite drink? Um, they didn't state whether that was normal or alcoholic. Um, if we're saying a normal drink, um, I would say it would be cherry... Pepsi Max or Pepsi Max Cherry. Absolutely love that. And I just realised I haven't got my glove on and my hair was super hot then. Great for me. Um, yes. So it would be Cherry Pepsi Max. Sure, I'm not very good at talking and doing stuff at the same time, don't know if you noticed. <laughs> and then my favourite alcoholic drink would, do you know what, I haven't really got a favourite. I love gin, um, I love different vodkas. I also really love um, Apple Jack Daniels. The only thing is, Apple Jack Daniels whiskey gets me, or just Jack Daniels in general, like whiskies. They do get me wrecked super quick, so I now... Since realising that, I try not to have them on nights out now, because um, I just get really, really bad off them, and just more of like a chill drink, you know, if it was a drink in the house or something. Um, but yeah, I'd probably say gins and vodkas. I'm really, really loving raspberry gin at the moment. That seems to be like my go-to order. Um, when I go out, like my first one. But I do just love, like, everything. And also, I'm really, really crap at curling my hair. So, as you can see, look at this. What the hell is that monstrosity? And I really can't pin curl neither. Considering I done pageants for years, and pin curling was like, I done that most days. I'm absolutely crap. And now my clips have just gone everywhere. Lovely. It's going great this morning, isn't it? <laughs> right. So that's two kill. Two kill, two pins, you know. I'm going to pin a few more because I've worked out I can't answer questions and talk whilst doing this for some reason. And without throwing my pins everywhere, so I'm going to pin a few more and then I'll come back to you. So the next question I've got is, do you speak any different languages? Um, I don't, know. However, I do really, really want to learn Spanish. I think it's such a widely spoken language and it is really similar to a few other languages, which once you learn Spanish, you can probably learn and start picking up those too. Um, but yeah, I think the Spanish language is absolutely I just love it so much, I think it's beautiful. And Spain, I just love going to Spain, I love the culture of it. Um, I think I've actually mentioned this in one of my previous vlogs, um, but in 
time to come that I would like to not move out to Spain constant but have like some sort of home from home out there um, where I just go out like on weekends or work from home but work out there I would absolutely love that that is one of my goals for the upcoming years and um, to have a home in Spain where I can go out there as well see my family are from the UK and I'm very very family oriented so I can't go that long without seeing them um but yeah so not to live out there permanently currently um but to have a home out there where I can just go out as and when and um, there is definitely a goal because I absolutely love Spain and I love the Spanish language and I love the culture I just pretty much love everything about it so yeah I don't speak a language currently but I do really want to learn Spanish <clears throat> and my throat has gone a croaky and I can't talk basically um long story short a little bit off subject but um my mum's been telling me that this hendo um was started at 12 um, and the limo's picking us up at two um so obviously prepping um my boyfriend Ryan he's taking us um but it turns out now I've just texted I'm texting my mum this morning now um and apparently it starts at one so I don't quite know what's happening yet but either way even if it's one that just means that these get to stay in a little bit longer I'll just start my makeup and that a little bit later so either or it's not a massive problem but I'll definitely need breakfast if we're going at one but then we're going straight to Cardiff for food so I don't quite know what to have for breakfast because I do want something quite substantial and I haven't really been eating particularly healthy lately anyway so there's no point trying to be healthy but yeah so slightly off topic but I thought I'd just tell you anyway because why not this is what my vlog's about being real and this is exactly what I do go off topic talk a load of crap and so on um I'll have a look to see what other questions I've got I'll carry on pink curling my hair and then I will answer another question for you so I'm back and I have now pink hilled my whole head so hope, apart from this strand just pull that out <laughs> apart from that strand um so hopefully they actually go well fingers crossed um so I'm just looking at some more questions I got asked and um, another question which I don't think I've ever actually spoken about is um do you want children and if so how many um i do want children or child <laughs> um preferably i would only like one um or but however twins do run in the family so if i was to fall pregnant with twins i would prefer obviously i know you can't choose but i would prefer it to be one boy one girl they're both done then um or if I was to have one child, I might potentially feel like maybe two, but I wouldn't want any more than two children, no. I've always said one, um, boy or girl, doesn't matter. Um, I've always said one, but yeah, maybe two, who knows. Um, but definitely no more than two. I just want to be able to give my children everything that they want not in a spoiled way but um I was always brought up where my parents would always try their best to give me everything that I could they gave me an amazing childhood and they're amazing parents are now still you know like they do help me out a lot and if they had multiple children they might not be able to do that um, and give me like all the attention that they have I wouldn't I'm not a spoiled brat by any means um and I yes I was spoiled and I am still spoiled but not in a spoiled brat kind of way my parents just do what they can for me and that's the kind that's how I want my child or children to be I want them to have what they deserve um but not in a spoiled way but just give them everything that I possibly can to make their lives incredible um, so yeah, I kind of got really deep and I didn't really know how to word it, but 
there we go i also feel like i've been talking really really quiet for some reason why is this i don't know yeah still got a slight food dilemma at the moment still not quite sure what to eat but we will go with the flow and we will see i'm not going to do my makeup yet because it is only um quarter to nine um so and we're not actually leaving until i don't actually need to be ready until about half 11 but i just wanted to set my like get my curls in set them so i'll probably be back to my to do my makeup in about an hour or so um so when i do i will then continue this after but for now i'm gonna probably just go and chill and watch some tv for a bit and i'm absolutely boiling so i'll probably change so yes, I will see you in a little bit guys. So it's now um, a little while later, I've had some breakfast. I had um, like, you know, the breakfast muffins. I had that and I had some scrambled egg and a banana. So I've had that and I am stuffed now. So just put some of this on. I've got um, Caramax Mint, yummy. Um, and I'm going to be using some of these vitamin C glow relieving pads um, from with orange fruit water. I got these from Primark. Um, it does actually state to use these more for under the eyes than that um, before you do makeup. When I finished my hair about an hour ago, I um, used a couple of these. I'm just going to use them again. So you've got this side which is soft and then this side sort of like... Um, a textured side so I'm going to use the textured side I'm not going to lie I am boiling I didn't change because once I finish my hair I cool down a bit I do rub them all over my face um, but I do focus quite a bit on the eyes especially under eyes I try and help with the puffiness really because if you've seen any of my makeup videos or anything before you'll know I need to blow my nose <clears throat> you'll know makeup is definitely not my strong point um and like my under eye area and that I'm not very good at covering it so you know do anything I can to try and get it down before I put my makeup on um so I'm gonna moisturize as well I've also exfoliated my face and washed it and um, before obviously I've started my makeup so that was the first step then this um, and now I'm going to be putting the number 7 Essential Moisture Day Cream on, which I've also spoken about before. Really good cream, but it bloody stinks. So I'm going to put some of this on now. You don't need a lot of it because it's really, really good. Um, and then, whilst I'm waiting for it to just soak into my face, I'm going to go and blow my nose. Also, the face scrub I use is the number seven um, face scrub. It comes in like a blue bottle. It's really, really good. Highly recommend. And um, my skin is super, super sensitive. And the number seven products are really, really good on my skin. So I would definitely recommend them if you have sensitive skin. I know obviously everyone's skin is completely different. So, but for me personally, it works wonders. So that is my moisturising done. I'm going to go and wash my hands because I don't like the smell of the cream on them. Um, and blow my nose. And I will be back. So I'm back. I also got a glass of water. Um, yeah, so that cream, it doesn't really leave your face sticky or anything. But it has soaked in now in about 30 seconds. It's really, really good. So the foundation and... Um, right. Don't judge. I don't use concealer. This is a foundation and contour stick. Um, but it's quite a pale one. Obviously compared to my skin. Um, so yeah. I just kind of use that under my eyes. Um, but this is also from Primark. And I use this matte foundation also from Primark. I don't use... Well, I hadn't had foundation in ages. So I wasn't really sure where to get it from and I don't wear makeup that often so I was a bit like oh I don't know so I just picked some up from Primark I just thought you know what let's try it and actually they are really really good. I've mentioned this before but I do like keeping my eyebrows very very natural so I'm just going to use a spoolie just to shape them. I'm going to answer a question before I start doing my makeup so I'm just going to find another question that I was asked let me just... 
bring them up and I can't find them. It's a great start, isn't it? Bloody great start. Also, I blew some balloons up and I bought a pink willy balloon and I thought it was going to be quite small, probably like this high. Ready for this? <laughs> and it's huge! <laughs> um, so that's going to be kind of embarrassing walking in the weather spoons this morning with that. Hopefully there's no kids there. Otherwise, that would be very awkward. So I'm just trying to find the questions because for some reason I have lost them. Oh, <sighs> so annoying. Right, okay. Right, um, so a question was, what's your biggest regret? Regret? can't even speak regret and why um honestly obviously there's things that i'd probably change if i went back um i probably changed the way i do them however in terms of regrets i try not to live with regrets because i believe everything happens for a reason so if i've made a mistake in certain situations obviously which has led to an opportunity not happening or um, certain people not being in my life anymore. That was for a reason. So, yes, if I went back, I'd act on, I'd act on it a different way, etc. Um, so, but not a regret because I've learnt by what I've done, and obviously that person or that opportunity or that item, etc., isn't supposed to be in my life anymore. So. It's not a regret, um, they're just learning by mistakes or learning by things that have happened in my life and moving forwards, learning that not to do that again basically. So I don't have any regrets um, I think there's no point having regrets at the end of the day. We can't go back in time, you can't change something that's already happened, you can't alter time, you can apologize if you want that person back in your life etc um but you can't alter something that's already happened so there's no point having a regret you just got to move forward from it and learn by that mistake that got kind of deep also i seen on tiktok a few days ago that if you put setting spray on this is setting spray i just ripped the label off because it's like coming off and then it annoyed me um also from primark if you put setting spray on in between, so put some on before you put your foundation and put your foundation on, then put some of this on. Apparently it makes your makeup look a lot nicer. So I'm going to try that today because I've never tried this before. I don't really know what kind of um, eye to go for. Um, I was thinking reds because I think reds look really nice, but then I don't know what I'm going to wear. So if I wear something that sort of clashes with red, like pink or something... It's not really going to go well. So I think I might just go browns again. Like nudes, browns, a little bit black. And then it'll just go with everything, won't it? Right, so I'm going to start then on my makeup. On my eyes. Um, and I will find a new question to ask. Um, also in regards to the setting spray. They also said if you spray your... Whatever these are called. Sponges. That also helps. Um, so what I do, I put a little bit of foundation on my eyes first um so whilst i'm doing that the question is if you won the lottery what would you do um so firstly that depends completely on how much i won i think one of the recent lottery wins was 184 million if i won money that crazy um, I will go straight into um, opening up my business that I would like and probably I definitely give to charity but it wouldn't be in the form of money um, I like to I don't really like giving charities money so much I like using the money to buy things um, etc and then giving it to the charities um, so I would give to charity um, I'm not sure which charities off the top of my head. I like if it when that day is to come, I would look into it and decide which ones I want to give to then. 
um, build a house. I have this design of this house I wanted since I was about 12 and it, the actual design hasn't really changed, it's just, got a, it's just downsized a little bit because when I was younger I just wanted the massive mansion. Now I don't really see the point, I don't want a massive massive house. Um, but yeah, so those would be the first things I do and then the rest, well I'm probably, I'm not going to lie, maybe like a shopping spree, you know. Um, but if I was to win a smaller amount, obviously still a big amount, but a smaller amount than 184 million, it was something like 1 million, um, I wouldn't go into doing any of that first. I would get business help and um, invest. So I turned that 1 million into a lot more. And then I would branch out to doing what I just said I would do with a larger amount of money. Um, obviously I'd invest with a large amount of money as well, but with only a million, I feel nowadays the things that, I said I would do it's not going to get you very far um so yeah I would invest it and turn it into more money and then in years to come then when it's worth a lot more I would then turn that into my business my dream home etc right so I am using this beautiful palette by um Jolie Beauty it's called Golden Skies and just give it a moment beautiful I absolutely love all these colors like the oranges reds I think they really really make my eyes stand out and I don't know why but my eyes change color as well so sometimes they're green sometimes they're um, like a hazel color currently today just looking at them they are green um don't know if you can see in the camera though but like sometimes they got a little bit blue in them and they do change with my mood they change day by day you know crazy sometimes they got a bit of all in all colors in them so I think I'm gonna go with sort of like the browns so this one's called warmth I'm probably gonna go with warmth clint soulful and desire those are the four colors I'm probably gonna work with today the most and um, so I'm gonna go with that now I need a, another one of them right okay so let's see what other questions we've got can you tap dance? Slightly random question and definitely not as deep as some of the other ones we've had. Um, I've just realised that's kind of like orangey but you know, I'm just going to roll with it. It doesn't match my outfit and I don't match my bloody outfit does it? Am I really going to care when I'm 10 cocktails in? No. Um, I can tap dance, yes. If I, I haven't actually done it, I just dropped my beauty blender on the floor. I haven't actually tap danced since I was about 16, so if I went back into it now, um, I can remember some steps, but I'd probably have to start from basics again. Um, but I did tap dance for absolutely years, on and off, since I was about three. Um, and I stopped it when I was 16, even though I absolutely love dance. Dance makes me feel like the only person in the world. Um, every single worry in my life disappears when I dance um, but I did stop it at 16 because I couldn't I didn't have the time basically to dedicate it to dance and pageants and at the time pageants were giving me more opportunities so I decided to stop dance and focus on pageants and just because obviously they were it was offering me more um, yeah so I can tap dance but if I went to do it if I went back and done it again I probably have to start quite low and then work my way back up again because obviously I can't remember everything so yeah I can tap dance yeah um so another question I had is what is your star sign and do you follow star signs um star signs yes I do believe in them um I am a Gemini um I don't follow them to the extent of I wouldn't know like who my best matches are as friendships and that um, but I do follow I don't follow them but I do believe in them yes they do tend to be very very true when it comes to me um, so Gemini is obviously the twins um, very much me not two-faced I'm not two-faced but 
I'm definitely what my star sign says the majority of the time anyway. Only a few times I thought, mm, no, that's not really me. But I was actually supposed to be born a Taurus. Um, but I was late, so I ended up being a Gemini. But if I read some things about Tauruses, I'm actually a little bit of... I am more Gemini, but I am a little bit of Taurus as well. Um, so, yeah. I don't follow them so much, so I don't know everything about them, but I do believe in them, and yeah, I am a Gemini, so it's not very exciting, but yeah. Um, I then got another question, which is, what is your favourite pizza topping? Very good question, I do love a cheeky pizza. Um, honestly, I will be honest. I haven't really got a favourite topping. It does depend on where I go for a pizza. If I go to Domino's, which is by far, hands down, my favourite pizza ever, um, I tend to have half-halves. They did stop it for a while, but I tend to have half-halves. So I have the Meteor pizza, which is, of course, um, it's got like sausage, meatballs, um, and like that on it like meats like that and I have the other half done which is the hot dog one that's been out a while but it hasn't been out the whole time so um yeah but if I go to for example a kebab shop and I have a pizza I tend to have barbecue base always barbecue base um especially at Domino's because tomato yuck <clears throat> and I get normally chicken sweet corn red onion and then if there's like a fourth topping that I need to choose, I tend to go with like some other sort of chicken, maybe like a spicy chicken or something or like something along that kind of line because I love spice. But I don't like the smell, um, the smell? I don't like the taste of like peppers and chilies and that, but I love the spice. So if I like that, I would probably have like jalapeno or something on there, but yeah, I don't. Right, I have done my eyes for now. But I have got powder all down my face, so that is why I always do my eyes first. So I need to wipe that off. I'm going to do my base and then I'll come back with another question. So I've pretty much done. Um, it's about an hour now until we go out. So that gives me time to actually decide what I'm going to wear because I honestly have no idea. Um, and do a few TikToks and take a few selfies, of course. So, I thought I'd just run over exactly what I used. Um, so after the palette, for my base, obviously, I used these two projects, which I talked about earlier. Um, and I use the Maximore Highlighting Foundation Contour Blush Kit. I haven't actually put any blush on, but I feel like I might. I might also tone my contour up a tiny bit. Um, and then as highlighter, I use the number 7 Custom Blend Liquid Gold Highlighter in white gold. I really like that. So that's the highlight that you can see there. Um, the thing is, I find uh, I do have quite a... It's like, I have quite an oily face. So I do get, and I sweat really easy, as gross as that is. Like, I'm a really warm person, so I sweat a lot anyway. So I probably don't even need highlighter anyway because it just makes it look worse, especially in pictures. Um, and then to try and tone down the shine on my face, I use um, this Rimmel Stay Matte um, Powder. Apparently this laps, laps, great. Apparently this lasts up to nine hours. So to be honest, I don't know if it actually worked because my face looks super shiny, but I don't know if that's just because I've got the ring light here, like on it. But I guess we'll find out when I take them selfies and that and I walk down the street with a really shiny face. When the rain is literally like reflecting off my face. That'll be lush. Um, I think that's all I use on my actual base. I don't really use anything else. I'm very, very, I just keep my makeup super natural. Um, then I used um, a black eyeliner pen just to go around my eyes. I find because I've got um quite a, I don't know what it's called, but around my actual eye I've got quite a, dark circle so when i put eyeliner on um it darkens mine i think it really makes my eye stand out more so i just use a normal eye eyeliner pen and then my favorite mascara ever 
better than sex mascara not only is the bottle really cute but i think it's amazing um mascara i don't know if you can fully see in the camera there but i absolutely love it because i am terrible at putting eyelashes on and i know if we will go out for a couple of hours i probably will try for today but we are out until like 12 o'clock tonight so it's just not gonna happen so they're just gonna come off and then i'm gonna feel all minging and then, ugh, no and then especially after a drink i don't want to be trying to put them on probably end up in surgery with an eyelash in my actual eyeball um so i'm just gonna start putting these away but i thought i'd answer one more question before i sort of bring this video to an end before it goes on loads of me chatting crap um so the last video the last video the last question i'm going to answer is <laughs> Um, are you watching any series at the moment? And if so, what? Um, at the moment, I have finished, um, well, Ryan and I, we are watching The Office, but we've seen that about three times to just keep putting it back to start. That's like a when we're in bed kind of one. Um, but I have been binging a few series because I've just been really fancy in series at the moment. So like when I come home on Fridays, because we don't go to gym anymore, um, I finish a little bit earlier on a Friday. So I come home, do cleaning, have a shower, work, whatever I need to do. And then I sit down and watch a series before Ryan comes home. So I've just finished watching some One of Us is Lying. Um, that's only one series. Um, I think it's a Netflix special, but don't take my word on it um that is really really good i really enjoyed that and before that i watched anatomy of a scandal that is so good as well that's even better um two completely different so one of us is lying is about a load of kids in school someone a boy gets killed and murdered and then it's basically like a murder mystery um and then the sec but it is a bit of a cliffhanger so I'm, fingers crossed they're going to bring out another series um, and then Anatomy of a Scandal is about, um, uh, I've forgotten what they're called, a minister, a prime minister, it's not a prime minister, a minister, we'll just call him that, don't think that's what it is, mental block this morning, um, a minister has been caught cheating on his wife, and then it just goes on from there, I don't want to talk too much, so I don't want to give it away if you are going to watch it, um so yeah but that is really good as well so they're the two i've been watching recently and then prior to that i think the other series i watched was bridgerton season two I watched bridgerton season one twice i did enjoy it but it's not like my usual kind of series or whatever that i go for um yeah i did enjoy it i just thought it was quite slow but season two was even slower i just thought yeah if you've watched it, let me know down below what you thought. Or if you have any um, series recommendations, let me know. Because I'm always looking for series to watch. Like I said, at the moment I'm kind of wanting series. So I just play them in the background. Whilst, like, for example, now in the, this morning. Um, so I'm not blasting music in the morning. But I'll be watching a series or something now if I'm not chatting to you guys. Um, and by you guys, I mean, like, my three followers. <laughs> um, no, but, Yeah. I don't really know, yeah, so if you have any um, series recommendations, let them know below or just pop me a message on Instagram or something, I love to hear. Um, but other than that, that's all I've really been watching at the moment. Um, I will take a selfie once my hair is all down and I'll add it in at the end of the clip. But other than that, I think I'm going to bring this video to an end now. So thank you ever so much for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this Get Ready With Me. I think I'm going to try and do a few more of them. Um, I don't really do this kind of thing that often anyway. It's more for like if I go out because I don't really put makeup on and that on a day to day. Um, so next time I go out or I do something like this, I'll probably film another one just because I find it quite fun. You know, it's just fun just to chat to the camera and whilst doing my makeup. And yeah, I'd maybe try and do a different look maybe. There might be some entertaining me trying to do like an extreme look or something because I'm absolutely crap at makeup. But anyway, I'm waffling on again. So thank you ever so much for watching guys. Don't forget to turn the notification bell on down below and subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope that you did enjoy this video and if you want to see any more or if there's anything that you do want to see, um, then comment down below and let me know and I will see you in my next video next Sunday. Thank you guys.